Hello guys, got another little bit of video for you. Um, so this is um, Arena, obviously playing as Malay. I'm in the blue. Uh, I'm up against Count Duca. Count Duca, who's playing the Vikings. He's in the red. Um, usual speed up through Dark Age. From my perspective, for most of it, I think uh, one of the more fun, fairly challenging, but definitely fun outcomes from this strategy, from this build. Um, doing the fast cost of the castle drop build. Um, it's only three day, so I can't do a 24 block. I think I go 25 or 26. Slight village lead, I think, for him. Yeah, very slight village lead for him. Doesn't really matter too much there. I think I can end up with a slight village lead over him by the end. Yeah, now I've overtaken him. He's got more idle time. I've got a little bit of a lead, fairly close though. I've gone See to start to go up to stone now. I'll push your son on the There we go, I got up just before he clicked. I clicked up just before he hit Hugel. A good sign for my build. Stone here, so I'll be dropping my castle here ish. Villagers are going forward yeah. now, they finish the berries. I'm a little short on stone, but the market will help. Buy a bit, chop off a bit. It's not going to be completely smooth though. Idle time with them builds. I'll take a stone afterwards. Yeah, so he's not aware the castle's coming down at the minute. That stone. I don't need that stone anymore. Yeah. Now I just switch into producing crambits and villagers. Seasborn officers. I've got Shasan on your buggy. Crambits in. Three villager picks. Often deny the wall at least. 
back up for a little walk around his base. Disturb all his eco. Slow him right down. So he has gone to stairs. So he's gone to his own castle. But he's going for the boom approach. So, he gets murder holes. Here. Yeah. Because this castle's in range, I can take it down by just shooting him. This, but now I'm starting to think I need to get to Imperial again. Yeah, so cool, Kappa, Binda. I'm still pushing yeah. rabbits again. I've got Shasa down here, Binda. I can't put another castle down, he's got murder holes now, so I can't really push in. I have to run past everything so to get to his eco. Like this. I Which I can still be annoying with. But he doesn't seem to be producing any military at all at the minute. So I can be wasteful with the rabbits. I don't need to save them to prevent, to help defend the castles. Literally trying to sit back and boom. He's got a bit of a village, village lead. But I'm using the market heavily as usual to get myself up to Imperial. Getting very close now. I had them a TC. Just that last bit of food. There we are, we're up. He's decided to go with another TC. Boom, I'm still 1TC back home. Sent these guys out to scout, just in case he's gone elsewhere. He's on his way up to Imperial now. I've reduced the trips, stop trip in space, and we He's nearly hit him now. Oh, yeah, got the castle. He's trapped with. Oh, see his thumb ring, perhaps your armor coming in. And the work. I spot the siege workshop though. Which I know my parameters yeah. can deal with, whatever comes out of it. Yeah, so Sent on to waypoints for him. Start trapping another one of his TCs. He's got nearly a 20 village lead over me at the minute. And then I spot See all ya. these villagers heading this way. Let's see what's going on. These traps take out buildings gradually. Can't deny 
giant. Oh, kill a few villagers. to lead over me now though. Let's see what damage they could do. To deal with all these crumbits yeah, so cool, Which means I can carry on building the castle. So now we're pretty much clearing out this base. I'm realizing that for him to still be not miles behind in score, we must have more out here because there's not a lot left in here. It's 
so really my plan is just to clear this bit of base out and then start thinking out about how to push this area. 31 karambits so far amassed. Just getting conscription as well. Yep. Just seeing what's going on. Spot this extra TC. He's probably going to kill that villager eventually. Yasa Kuka Baginda. Here. Spot these yeah. villagers here on gold, so I think that's the like direction roughly to the TC. Yeah, I just patrolled them over here. That would be annoying. At this point, I realise it's fully committed into the Arbalest. Rambit's going to do brilliant day against them. Don't worry, I don't go away from the Crambits. They still remain the majority of my army. It's just Trebs and Crambits yep. aren't brilliant against Arbalest. Nearly got villagers. Nearly. There are level villagers. I have a villager lead. <laughs> Anyway, now switching into rams, cap rams, which our blessings aren't very good against. So my plan is just literally to amass tons of rabbits, cap rams. And once all this area is cleared out, that rush the whole base. Everything else. Lots of wood and also. He's gradually expanding further and further and further. I've got shots on the villagers over here. Some crumbits are sent to the party. Trying to boom. Make more and more villages. He's also trying to catch us up. But I'm still fully walled. Make his mark help so he can't. He runs. No, how I play. I use my mark a lot to rebalance my eco. So I'll take that out. Houses, see if we can house them again. Just, I don't want to move my traps too far forward, away from the castles. Yasa Kuka Baginda, here. Forty-six crumpets. Upper Shasana Ramsu. Still got ten villager lead over him. 
he is catching back up though with the amount of town centers he's producing from. But all that food he's been putting into villages this whole game. Sixty rabbits. So it's obviously more because sixty is the maximum size you can have. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, so exactly. There's the resignation. It was a good fun game that one. Challenging at the beginning. But straightforward enough. And now I'm on 1194 ELO. Six more to get to 1200 for the first time ever. And there we go.